Well, thank you for riding with us at the Greenfield Volt Railroad. For your safety, please remain seated while you're on the train. Keep your head, your arms, your legs inside the car at all times. And for the little ends protections, please place them on the middle of the road. If that's not practical, make sure they're held or easily within your reach. And no eating, drinking, or smoking, but water's just fine. We're passing by the Susquehanna Plantation in the left. That was a very prosperous plantation. Came from Maryland. Now we're heading past, oh, there's our Ferris windmill. The Ferris windmill is the oldest windmill in the United States. Came from Massachusetts. And there's Daggett Farm. Daggett Farm is a wonderful place to visit. They're always doing something. They're working in the garden outside. They're working in the house. They're cooking, doing all kinds of things. So it's a great place to visit.
to the Smith Creek Depot now, which will take you right into the thick of things. You can go to Liberty Craft Works, Railroad Junction, or Main Street from this depot. Please remain seated as you are until the train comes to a complete stop and you'll hear the engine engineer blast the whistle and then you'll know it will be safe to exit on the left hand side. Whistle now it's safe to exit on the left hand side.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please remain seated. For the safety of our younger riders, we ask that the adults of them place themselves on the outside of the road. If that's not practical, please hold the right hand easily in your reach. Remain seated so we come to a complete stop. Keep all your body parts inside the car. No eating and no smoking. Thank you. Well, we're headed to the uh, main gate Firestone Station, but we'll be stopping at the water tower to take down some water before we get there. Spit Creek Depot is one of the original 28 buildings in Greenfield Village when we opened October 21st of 1929. It's an authentic train depot. It comes to us from Smith's Creek, Michigan, about 60 miles north of here, just outside of Fort Huron. We have the opportunity to stop talk to the presenter in Smith Street to tell you all about life on the Grand Trunk Railroad during the American Civil War. The newest addition to the village campus is the open air building to the left, the Detroit Central Marketplace, built in 1861 in downtown Detroit. We take on water here a few times, uh, you know, once a day here, and a couple of times up at the main gate. There's a water spigot basically there, but we get it right out of the big water tower here. It holds about 32,000 gallons of water. We also uh, get our coal here on this side of the water tower is another taller uh, tower and that's the where we store coal. We get coal come in here on a semi truck. You know, about 23, 24 tons of coal each time it comes in. It backs up to that fenced area behind the coaling tower and dumps it down there. There's a, you know, a large pit that stores it uh, long enough for the um, half ton bucket that's on the side of that polling tower, it takes it up to nearly the top. There's an opening up there, it just tilts and drops in. Comes back, it's another half ton. So it takes quite a bit of the day to distribute that hole. The large brick building is the Detroit Toledo and Milwaukee Roundhouse, originally built in 1884 in Marshall, Michigan, about an hour and a half west of there. We salvaged anything that was structurally sound included in this one and opened it up in 2000. We do all of our service repair and maintenance on our three coal-fired steam locomotives. The building is not open yet, but the uh, big doors in front are open, so you can see quite a bit of what's inside the roundhouse. And yes, the other side of the roundhouse behind the trees and bushes is Liberty Crop Works. That's where the artisans do the glass blowing, pottery making, and so forth. And that's all available for you to go in and view. Some of the products they produce are sold at the Liberty Crop Works store in that same area. Looks like they're just about done. We'll be departing here momentarily for the main gate Firestone Station. The largest part of our working farms district will be on the right hand side as we uh, complete the left turn up ahead is the Firestone Farm built in 1828 in Columbiana County, Ohio. It is the birthplace and childhood home of Harvey Firestone, the originator of the tire and rubber company, a very good friend of Henry Ford. It's a working farm, seven and a half acres work year round, and it's open for you to visit.
Firestone Station. If you choose to get off here, it's a short walk back to the farmhouse or over to Liberty Rockport or even to the Model T loading dock. And if you are leaving us after this stop, we thank you for coming out and sharing part of your day with us. We hope that you've enjoyed it and we'll come back again real soon. Please drive carefully to your next destination. Remain seated, please. Wait for the whistle. Marino sheep.